Are you upset that Disney canceled the Magical Express? I think my opinion mainly is that it takes away any reason as to why anyone would stay on property at this point, right? Disney recently canceling the Magical Express got me thinking a lot about the Walt Disney World vacation as a whole package. The idea of the American vacation has been reinvented by the Disney Corporation over the past 20, 30 years. A lot of people don't really go anywhere anymore. They go to Disney World in Florida. It's just the place they go year after year. The main way that Disney has been able to grab hold of the American holiday in the way that they have is by doing one real big thing making vacationing convenient and easy. Disney World's Magical Express was introduced in 2005 and was a revolutionary service. What it did was send you a special luggage tag to your home before your Disney World vacation and allowed you to tag your bags at the airport that you were gonna leave from. And when you flew to Orlando, from then on, once you landed and went into that big airport with those iconic carpets and that one big sleeping guy in the lobby, that's a statue that confuses everybody who sees it, including me the first time I did. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah. about? <laughs> it's so real. It looks so real. Disney would gather your luggage. They would put you on this nice comfy bus that would pick you up. It would take you to your Disney World Resort stay, drop you off right at the concierge at your resort for you to check in and get to your room. And then that night before bedtime, your bags would just magically appear in your room. So I know for a fact that the Magical Express made life easier for me as a parent. I watched it make it easier for my parents and their four kids. It was a really wonderful perk that benefited people who really needed it. And now the idea of it not being there, I can't even conceptualize it. We've had the Magical Express for over 15 years. So why are they canceling it? Why are they getting rid of it? Why are they getting rid of the free magic band? Why are they getting rid of the extra magic hours? Why are they getting rid of all of these things that make the vacation really convenient and easy to go? And more importantly, who is this affecting the most? I'm gonna probably need some help to figure these questions out. And luckily I have a friend who's an expert in the cancellations of all things corporate. And that is none other than Jake from Bright Sun Films. You know me, I love capitalizing on other people's branding. So I'm gonna Absolutely. just take, I'm just gonna ride the Jake Williams Bright Sun Film cancellation, like Evil Knievel, I'm gonna jump the Grand Canyon on the cancellation bike. Please just take it all, just take it all. <laughs> Please, are you upset that Disney canceled the Magical Express? I think my opinion mainly is that it takes away any reason as to why anyone would stay on property at this point, right? Yeah. You know, it, it, it just doesn't make that much sense for a would-be family to stay at Walt Disney World to stay there anymore, you know? Absolutely. It's one of those big perks that a lot of people, I think they said like over 6,000 people a day used it which was wow, like over really? 2.3 million people a year use the Magical Express. The people that are gonna be hurt the most, I think are, are people who, who are flying in and staying on the lower end side of things. People who are going to uh, the Pop Century Hotels, the All-Star Hotels. They're the people who are not necessarily going to be wanting to get a rental car for the week, which is gonna cost like another 800 bucks or something. Or, you know, they don't wanna Uber everywhere, they want the perk of staying on, on property. You put the pin right in it. It's the people who are utilizing the value services of yeah, Disney Yeah, exactly. World. They're, they're saving their money and they're pouring all of their cash into it. Right, people who are staying at Grand Flirting, don't, they don't care, you know, that, that's not gonna affect them. You, of all creators actually, really hit me in the face with the idea of the Disney World bubble with yeah. that wonderful video you did a, a, a you. year or two ago. You didn't use the Magical Express, you rented a car, you know what I mean? You're like, right. here's what's happening outside of this bubble. How did the Magical Express affect Orlando? The idea of building hotels on property, the whole point of it was to keep people in the, the atmosphere of Disney, right? So the, the Magical Express was sort of the companion piece to that. The fact that it was free was like even a bigger incentive for people who are 
landing in Orlando to get on the bus and go there. So that created like this whole culture of of weird seedy hotels outside of Disney that were uh, for the people who weren't necessarily going to do that or something. So now without Magical Express, I think you're going to see a lot more higher end hotels, um, bigger companies come in and capitalize on the fact that uh, the bubble doesn't exist anymore. You know, you're going to see a lot more Marriott's and Hilton's pop up in the areas where it was like these forty dollar night rooms. What do you What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to replace the Magical Express? You know, it's weird too because I thought it was going to be the minivans, but then they killed that off too, right? So they've eliminated their own rideshare uh, system, which I I thought ultimately that was what was going to you know replace it. I think Disney is really just trying to eliminate all costs possible right now. And, uh, you know, an enormous bus fleet is probably eating up a lot of uh, revenue to where they don't need to necessarily. Um, I think they still assume lots of people are going to come to their hotels no matter what, because it is Disney and, you know, they have the brand name and, and everything that, that goes with it. But as the years go, go on and people start to realize, well, why am I spending, you know, an extra, let's say, 200 or hundred and ten dollars a night more extra than you would at any other large brand uh i i think it's ultimately going to hurt the the company and um but yeah I, it, it's gonna be hard to say what replaces it i i honestly don't think anything will and i, I think that's gonna severely hurt them in the long run but uh at at this course right now, yeah, I don't think anything is the big the big thing people are saying is this train to downtown Disney. Oh, right. that's this, right. This yeah. train will take you from the airport, but it really only drops you at Disney Springs. So now I'm seeing what? So there's just going to be a massive new bus depot, resort bus depot at Disney Springs that's going to yeah. redistribute people. The the train isn't going to be free. And it's, we're talking realistically like five to seven years down the line. I mean, it's going to take a lot. Trains take forever or train lines take forever to build. So we're talking way down into the future. Staying at Disney is really expensive now. You got the tickets, you got even the, the lowest end hotels, they're expensive. They can get range it's a, at it's least. It's a $5,000 va one week Easy. vacation minimum for a family Easy. Four. And I would say go on a cruise instead, <laughs> really. I mean, uh, my God, it, it's $5,000 for a family of four is a lot of money. And uh, the amount of effort and time that you got to put into it, it's, you know, I don't know if it's worth it anymore for a lot of families. Um, and after the events of 2020, I think we're going to start to see the uh, the adverse effects of that, where people are just going to say, yeah, you know what, kids, we can't afford it this year. I don't think we can do this. Well, you brought up an interesting point about the minivan, and you're the you're like the expert in this, right? You're the expert in the the, the co corporations hitting like a, a random weird hard spot. Sometimes yeah. they do it through poor leadership. But I'm seeing now a lot of these companies just taking all of their problems, bundling it up into one big COVID package, and just yeah. dumping their problems. Just saying, hey, absolutely. Disney has been offloading so many things right now in the in the name of COVID, right? You know, they have all these expenditures that uh, aren't benefiting them directly. So we'll use the excuse of COVID to get rid of them. Uh, I think a great example of that is the, um, I mean, you have all these furloughs, but more specifically, the individual resort entertainment. You have um, the Grand Floridian Band and you have the uh, Bob Jackson at Port Orleans. Two, two things that aren't necessarily directly uh, influencing people staying there, but they are, in my opinion at least, fundamental parts of what makes a Disney hotel good. So when you start removing these people, like Disney has been doing, in the excuse of COVID, uh, because it doesn't, it, it's not costing Disney that much more to keep them on. But, you know, Disney's going to get rid of them, you know. In the in the case of the Grand Floridian Band, you saw that they, they removed their stage prior for the bar and put them, you know, tucked in the corner. So obviously Disney was intending to get rid of them at some point. It was a temporary stage, let's be honest. It's been 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, Walt Disney World. They've done what they need to do to get you addicted. Now yeah. you're hooked. The people who are already shelling out the cash are already going to shell out the cash to get here no matter what. I would at least hope that the majority of people, especially new people going to Disney now, should expect more from the brand. Because that brand is very, very valuable. The Disney name on a hotel or 
any themed property is very, very valuable. But when Disney starts to remove the things that made it, that got it to that point, like you said, over the past 50 years, then I think, uh, yeah, there, there's going to be start to be some issues. Yeah, I'm really, Hopefully. I'm fascinated to see how the next couple of years will play out and and how much of the public will notice. So who knows what the future will hold in terms of the Magical Express and how we get from the airport to Disney World. And who knows what the future will hold in terms of other perks that may come and go. We heard Jake say some really interesting stuff about the cancellation of the Magical Express and the whole idea of the Disney vacation and what gives it value. What gives a Disney World vacation value to you? Do you think losing all these perks is going to make your expensive resort stay less enticing? Are you gonna pursue other options? What do you think is going to replace the perks that have been taken away? Or do you think that these perks might just magically reappear when suddenly it's okay to go back to the parks? Let me know in the comments below as well as on Facebook Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, Discord. Links are all down in the description below. I really appreciate you guys watching and commenting and engaging with me. I love hearing what you guys have to think about. And these are things that I really don't see most people talking about. And I don't think it's cool to get rid of something that over 2 million vacationers use a year without really telling us what we have to look forward to its replacement. And a, and a train to the shopping mall ain't gonna do it, Disney. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, you rock.